Oh, you know, we're going to be talking about the chance for some showers. Mm -hmm. And I, I know some people do like running in the rain as long as we don't have lightning, right? So that's where we're keeping our fingers crossed about. And even a few years ago, uh, we organized a big group here from the station and we went and we're so proud to be partnering up with the Miami Corporate Run again. And that start time is 645 p.m. There will be the potential for some passing showers and temperatures will be in the low 80s. But of course, if the rain rolls in, that will cool down the temperatures a little bit. So as we take a look down downtown Miami, which will be hustling and bustling and very busy later today with the Mercedes Benz Miami corporate run. Right now it's calm and mostly sunny and hot as we take a look from our keys camera. More of the same, mostly sunny with just a few clouds. But there is that front. It's oh so close here the second day of fall. Our friends up in North Florida enjoying a nice treat this morning, waking up to the 60s. But yeah, we're still warm and humid south of the front is where we're staying for now. And the wind is out of the south as well, 6 to 12 miles an hour and we're heating up. It feels like the upper 90s in Broward and Dade County right now and the tropics also heating up because now tropical depression number 18 strengthen into our 18th named storm of the season. So now you're looking at tropical storm Sam and we're already to the S name, which just is indication of how active this season has been already and max seed winds 50 miles an hour. It's moving west at 16 miles an hour and Sam is expected to become a hurricane as we head into the weekend and then likely a major hurricane going into early next week. Notice how that forecast track indicates it'll move to the west northwest eventually and then possibly to the northwest. There is a lot of uncertainty as we go into early next week as some of the models are keeping it moving towards the west northwest. Some of the models move it to the northwest because of a break here and high pressure steering it. So really we're going to have to wait and see and I'll be monitoring this closely along with the rest of the CBS4 weather team because there's a potential it could be near or northeast of the Lesser Antilles as we head into next Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's not all. Here we have what's going on with the remnants of Peter and post tropical rose, which the final advisory was issued and a few other areas that we're watching one north of rose, which is in the northern Atlantic with a medium potential of development and then another wave off the coast of Africa with a low potential of development. So keep the umbrellas handy highs in the upper 80s today and we will see the potential for those storms to fire up again just as we saw yesterday around 2 3 p.m. So parents heads up for the pickup line could be soggy for the evening rush as well when you're headed back home for from work and then overnight it should quiet down. Boaters no advisories sees one to two smooth on the base for tonight. Lows will be in the upper 70s and the moisture lingers at least for the next few days leading to those afternoon storms. But some drier is on the way for next week. Your extended forecast showing that it won't be as hot or as humid with the upper 80s by early next week. Ladies.